Welcome to Prep Time. My name is Chef Carpenter here at Pikes Peak Community College. Today we're going to demonstrate uh, an emulsion. And to demonstrate that, we're going to make a classic vinaigrette. And for our, our ingredients for the vinaigrette, we have champagne uh, vinegar, we have some dry mustard powder, we have chopped shallots, salt and pepper, and we have some uh, fresh herbs. Uh, I chose tarragon and thyme, but you could substitute others. I have a little bit of sugar, and then we have our canola oil. We have a large mixing bowl here. Um, the important thing is uh, if you're doing this yourself and you have no one to hold the bowl, we use a pot. Uh, it's just an empty pot with a towel on it and that'll stabilize it and then I could have my hand free to add the oil. So uh, let's go ahead and start. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the champagne vinegar in the bowl. And now I'm gonna put the mustard powder in there. And this mustard powder is gonna help our emulsion right here. So we'll just go ahead and add that in. And I'm going to add the shallots as well. Um, if we add the shallots right in the beginning, it helps, uh, you know, it help uh, pull some of the uh, flavor out of it. We'll kind of uh, not break them up, but we're going to agitate them and, and get some of that flavor out. So we're just going to start by mixing that up. And as we mix it, I'm going to put a little bit of air into it. And you can see it's uh, starting to bubble a little bit right there. And uh, that is going to help form our emulsion. The next step is we're going to add the oil. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up my canola oil here. And when you do that, get a good look at it. And you want to watch, and you should see very small bubbles forming. If you do not see that, uh, you might want to add a little slower. So it's going to take a few minutes. If you rush it, uh, you, you will not have good results. So please take your time at this part of the process here. And as that oil is going in, you'll see little pools of oil, and you'll watch it break up and get smaller and smaller. That is a very important um, part of this. And now you can see, if I didn't have the pot there, I would have a very hard time uh, doing both here with, uh, you know, because you would have to hold that bowl. So it's working well. I can see the oil is getting, uh, it, it's getting dispersed in there well. It's uh, trapping some air. So I'm going to just keep going. And if you see that it is starting to separate a little bit, stop adding the oil and continue whisking and uh, try to get a little bit more air in there. And when you whisk something, uh, there's uh, many different ways. Uh, a lot of times you'll catch yourself, and I try to train students because they'll get their entire body into the process of uh, whisking right there. And you want to put your elbow in tight and use very little body movement there, and you'll be able to whisk for a long period of time. We're doing a, a, a very basic, simple vinaigrette. Um, you can uh, add some other ingredients to it if you wish. But you know, the use of vinaigrettes, uh, it's not just for a salad anymore. Vinaigrette makes a nice sauce that you could use on, uh, on maybe a, a, a broiled fish or even a, a baked fish. So we're just about there. I've got uh, most of that oil in. And you can see it's getting uh, quite light in color. I, I, I never buy salad dressings at home because uh, making a fresh one like this, especially with uh, citrus, would be my favorite. And, uh, you know, if you take uh, five minutes' time to make a, a dressing, uh, I think you'll enjoy it much more than the ones from the grocery store that are full of emulsifiers. Okay, so we've got that in. You can see it's, uh, it's staying together. It's got a creamy texture to it. So I'm going to go ahead and add my herbs to it now. And I'm going to mix them in a bit because I'm going to kind of break them up and try to get those essential oils to come out of them. And uh, you can really smell the tarragon now. And now we're going to season it with some salt and pepper. So I've got salt and white pepper right here. And I'm going to put some in there. And I'm going to put in just a little bit of sugar. And uh, that works really well with the acidity. And now we put together a, a little salad right here, um, a nice colorful salad. And you want to be careful not to dress the salad too soon. Uh, normally, we'll, if we're doing a banquet, we'll plate up all the salads. And at the last moment, right before service, we'll come in and dress the salad. And you can see all the nice fresh herbs and the, uh, the aroma of the tarragon. Is just great. Thank you very much for, uh, for tuning in to Prep Time. My name is Chef Carpenter at Pikes Peak Community College. Have a great day.